Hey guys, Break here, and today we're going to be looking at the Blizzard raid frames and how you can get a really high quality, uh, useful, and simple raid frame just from the Blizzard UI without using any add ons. And it's perfect for healing, it's perfect for DPS, tanking, whatever you want to do. It's going to be really, really good, especially for healers. And I want to show you how you can do this with zero add ons whatsoever. First off, I would like to, of course, say that there's many, many raid frame, unit frame add ons out there, grid, etc., etc., that have been out for many, many years and are extremely good. So if you do use one of those add ons, don't stop. If you like it, of course, there is no reason not to use those. But I just want to say there are many players in many of the top guilds in the world who just use the Blizzard raid frames, including healers. There are many healers in the top guilds in the world who just use Blizzard raid frames. There are players in Method who just use Blizzard raid frames. So it is perfectly viable. It doesn't affect your viability in high level content whatsoever. It's just a matter of what you like the look of, what you want to see on your UI, etc, etc. So first up, you want to press on your game menu, interface, raid profiles. And this is where you're going to be interacting with the unit frames. Now, you want to tick use raid style party frames in general, because that's just kind of more useful, it will uh, display more things for you. So even if you're just in a party, not a raid, you'll still have these bad boys up. Of course, you can tick whether you want it to show in PvP, PvE, etc, etc. I get it to show in everything because that's just what I like. Now, even before all that, it is important to know you can move around the Blizzard raid frames. Just press this little guy on the left, press unlock, and then you can move it around. You can rescale it. So. Look, we can have a nice square there if you want a square. If you move it up, we can get a nice line. And then to lock it in place, you just press lock and go back. If you want it right on the left, you press unlock. You move it right to the edge of there. You then press lock. And then when you move it to the side, it will go back to the left. So that's how you control and move around these raid frames. Really simple, just like any other add-on. And, you know, that's the thing. A lot of people say, oh, don't use the raid frames of Blizzard. They're not very customizable, etc., etc." They weren't 10 years ago, but they've had a lot of updates since then, and they're actually uh, pretty good for that. So back on the raid profiles menu, your frames will probably look like something like this, by the way, all green and probably smaller, you know, like that. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Anyway, so at the bottom, you can change the height and width. Now, as I'm a healer, I like to have it as big as possible. If I'm in a big raid, I'll make them smaller because obviously it would cover half my screen. But when I'm in a party, I have them as big as possible because that's just what you're going to want for healers. If you're DPS, just change it to how you want. But somewhere around the uh, H and the T is going to get you a kind of useful, really small. You know, the whole raid could fit in this tiny little one-fifth of your screen which is kind of what you want so that's all good now next up we have all these little tick boxes which are kind of important as a healer i like show incoming heal there we go hex of Ales is being healed up that's kind of useful because it shows who's about to get healed and whether you should heal them or not whether they're in trouble or not etc etc that's quite a uh, useful thing to have power bars you can have if you want to see people's mana but I don't suggest doing that, it's not so important. Aggro highlight will just show a little thing if they take aggro, so quite useful. Again, I don't usually bother, but uh, it's kind of useful actually, I'll, I'll keep it there. Display class colors, I think this is really important because it just quickly shows you which class is which. I mean, it's kind of obvious the druid is the kind of brownie, whatever color the druids usually are, orange, warlocks, purple, whatever. You guys know how it is. Display pets, if you want to see hunters, pets, warlock pets. Again, I don't really bother with that. I don't think it's too important. But if you are a healer, it is, I suppose, kind of useful to be able to heal up people's pets in a party, at least, and in PvP. Uh, main tank and assist, again, that's always useful when someone sets their uh, 
main tank you can easily see it in the raid frame and display border you can have it so a little border goes around the edge personally I don't really like that I think it's kind of annoying but if you're into that of course you can click it and finally show debuffs obviously you want to have this up because you want to see the uh, debuffs on everyone to know if they're taking damage or you know if you need to help them out whatever only dispellable debuffs don't bother with that because it's still useful to see uh, a debuff even if you can't dispel it so there you go finally there's this display health text thing which shows the numbers on your raid frames again I really wouldn't bother with that it's kind of pointless but I suppose if you really want you can go for that finally at the top here there is the sort by button now I usually keep this on roll just so I can easily see the healers like near the top then all the DPS but if you want to put it on groups if you're on say a fight where you have to split up such as that fight in tomb which I now can't remember the weird one with that woman and the evil thing anyway you can do that alphabetical don't do that but there we go roll is probably the best desolate host that's what I was thinking of shows how good I am at PvE so here we are in a raid and as you can see if you don't change around the profile for raid versus dungeon you're going to be in trouble we can't see anything so first off we're going to do what we did before which is unlock move this to the side lock and then left so that's going to make it to the side next up again what we did before if you guys remember we moved this up I mean this even don't even know what to do there we go move that down there we go lock to the side it's already looking smaller but obviously we really don't want them this big for a big raid this is LFR so we're going to go into interface raid profiles and we're going to move these down if we put them to like the G and the D of height and width then that can kind of work we don't really want it covering the chat either so we can unlock go up there and there you go that's much better we can see everything uh, it's not getting in the way at all and it's all looking cool we can see everything important we need to see it's all good now you don't want to be changing all those around every time so what you can do is make a raid profile so click here go on new profile go on you know type in the name so we'd say raid use a starting point okay we use the primary as starting point because that was the party we just set up earlier it's big again so then we move the frames down go save and this is now break test and now we can easily switch between the party one and the raid one you guys get it so we don't have to move everything around every time uh, and it's great I think it's really uh, just as good as any other grid or any other raid frame add-on I've used a lot in my time trust me and I just find the blizzard one a lot more simple to use and useful now this last bit is going to be for healers because beware let's be honest grid them and like de curse all that kind of all those kind of add-ons the reason they're so good is because they provide useful little mouse over things so you can easily mouse over and press the heal like I'm doing now you see I'm mousing over and there we go but I'm doing this with the normal raid frames, no add-ons. Beware. So add you want to go into macros and you want to create these macros for each of your heals. Okay, so this is it here. I'll uh, copy an example in the description below. Now you just want to replace the, re just copy it, paste it into a macro and replace rejuvenation with whichever the heal is that you're doing. Obviously change the name and icon to whichever heal you're doing. And then you are good to go. So what's this going to do? It's going to create a little macro you just move the Beware. macro in where your spell normally is and you've got yourself a raid frame macro mouse over macro that's going to be just as good as anything else so again as you see here whenever i just mouse over sunny and it goes like that this is going to be crucial if you are a healer or if you're interested in off healing whatever it's going to be really really important to have this 
if you're not a healer it's not so important you can kind of ignore this bit but they are super important these mouse over macros make sure you have them uh, for mythic plus for raiding they are really really crucial and as we wipe to uh, LFR kill Jaden I'm sure you've all experienced that's gonna be about it for the video one more thing I will say for healers though I know this video was about no add-ons but it's mostly about no raid frame add-ons I will give you one add-on for healers which I think pairs really well with the blizzard UI it's also really simple but it's gonna give you a good time and it's gonna help you with your healing with your dispelling especially in mythic plus it's really important for in raids as well and that is big debuffs now add-ons big debuffs here we are it's a really cool add-on basically it enables you to put dispellable CC dispellable roots stuff stuff that you can dispel basically as really big so as you see fell claws there that debuff is not very big that's because we can't dispel it so it's big enough to show me but I'm not going to try dispelling it so it doesn't work but uh, if someone does get a dispellable Beware. debuff which I don't think they will because I'm not sure there are any on kill Jaden um, so I can't show you but I'll show you in a second I'll go into a party anyway it's going to make it really big, really obvious, so you're going to basically dispel. You're going to dispel, and it's just going to be, you know, it's going to make you a better healer. Uh, what it also does is you can press increase maximum debuffs, and what that means is four debuff, well, Beware. up to six debuffs will show on a player. As you see there, there's four there, whereas usually the Blizzard raid frames, there are only three that will come up which isn't ideal, especially if you're something like a Resto Druid who has a lot of hots. So if you press increase maximum debuffs, you can get up to six along there, which is gonna be more than enough for what you need. So here we are in a party. So what are we gonna do? We're going to change back to my primary profile. Okay. And we'll also move the frame back to here. And as you can see, already we've got a dispellable debuff, which is big. Why is it big? Because we can dispel it. Now, I don't know where they are. They're up there, so I can't dispel it, so kind of pointless. But anyway, this is how they should look when you're in a party. Obviously, if you're not a healer, you might want to put the frames more to the left because it's not so important you see these. But if you're a healer, it's really important. Here we go. It's big, so we can dispel it. And I use my mouse over macro to dispel. You see our instant dispelled. And then you can pretend you're a professional player because you're instant dispel. You know? Really, really simple stuff. That's all I really want to show you, and we've managed to do it at the first few seconds of the dungeon, so that's good. But there we go, guys. That is my quick little guide into how to make your Blizzard raid frames kind of really useful and professional, and especially if you're a healer, how to get the most out of them. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and until next time, See ya.